Hey guys, today I'm going to go over first impressions of openings and dry downs of some original creations from Segreto Fragrances. Jake sent me uh, some samples of a couple of newer releases that he's dropping for the fall. I think fall and winter, uh, so the ordering will be limited. So if you end up liking the idea of these, order a sample pack or order a bottle uh, once the ordering goes into effect. Let's go ahead and crack these open and see if they're any good or not. Welcome to the fragrance wardrobe. All right, let's get to cracking. All right, guys, here we go. It looks like he sent four bottles. So thank you, Jake. Really appreciate that, my man. And we will see how these turn out. Oh, cool. I think these are going to be um, 15. Are these going to be 15 or, yeah, I bet these are like, I bet these are 15 mil bottles, I think. Very cool. All right, first up, we have Confidence from Jake Segreto. All right, so Confidence. Oh, kind of smelled a little bit through the atomizer and it smells pretty good. So atomizer, let's give this thing a whiff. Wow, in the air, that smells very good. Definitely a fougere. It's like a fougere with a modern twist. I'm getting a little something sweet. I'm getting like a uh, a soapiness. Yeah, there's a soapiness. Definitely some lavender in here. It smells really good. Um, I did write down the notes. Took notes. Uh, what is going to be in these? So I can go off. So I can go ahead and go through them. Uh, that way, um, you know, it kind of has a little bit more of a full review type of feel before the ordering really launches on these. So yeah, this one uh, is gonna be Aromatic Fougere. You have metallic notes, shave soap, accord, uh, double lavender, spices, bay leaf, pepper, and rum. I'm definitely getting the shave soap accord, the lavender, a little bit of spiciness in there, definitely a little bit of spiciness. I don't know about the metallic notes, maybe on first spray, but as this is starting to develop and dry down a little bit, the rum is really coming out quite a bit more. It smells really good. Really digging that. I might put this one on skin. We have Copa Cabana right here. So a little bit different color juice. Uh, let's see, the write up on this one is gonna be a gourmand. So you're going to have a banana cream, graham cracker, vanilla, tobacco, spices, booze, and tonka. Um, so yeah, let's figure out what this one's gonna be like. I'm kind of excited seeing the note just booze on there because I know he has that listed like that for dog days. And man, that thing smells amazing. All right, atomizer. There we go. Wow, this is very gourmand. Very, very gourmand. You get that graham cracker immediately. The graham cracker. Hold up. Banana. Immediately when it opens up, it's graham cracker. That fades down a little bit and boom, banana's there. Still getting the graham cracker, not in the dominant like four, a little bit behind that banana cream feel. There's a sweetness. This is this is definitely something that's gonna come across very edible. Oh man, that smells really good. Wow. And I don't have a whole lot of gourmands in my collection. This one though. Sometimes when something gets labeled a gourmand, I'm kind of like, eh, it's really not like that edible smelling or anything like that. But Jake, 
this thing, this straight smells like a dessert. This smells just like a dessert. Wow, that is, wow. Copacabana and freaking credible. Wow. If you like banana cream, you like graham cracker, you like that type of stuff, mix it together, you will love uh, Copacabana. This thing smells so good. Getting a little bit of the booze in the background. It hasn't really come up though yet. I'm guessing it'll come up later in the dry down. We'll come back uh, in a couple of hours and see if it does or not. All right, next pack. All right, we have two more. So this one is going to be English Garden. And this one is O'Krim. Uh, he gave me the note breakdowns for O'Krim, but not English Garden. So we'll save that one till last. And this one will be a gourmand as well. After smelling Copacabana, I'm very excited to smell this one. boozy right off the opening i'm getting booze whiskey coffee that's right this is a irish cream type of uh type of scent so yeah you have boozy irish cream uh that accord you have roasted coffee whiskey and amber right away i got the the roasted coffee, and I got the whiskey. I'm getting that creaminess, almost like a latte type of creamy type of scent. Rich, warm, seductive, completely gourmand. Smells drinkable, and it smells good. Yeah, this one is incredible. If you are into gourmands and you are really into coffee scents, this is a absolute must-have because you're getting the, the Irish coffee type of feel. It's like a roasted coffee with some whiskey in it, Irish way, and some creamy foam or whatever on top of that. If you can envision that, that is what this smells like. Fantastic. Great scent. Wow. That's a beautiful gourmand as well. Very, very good. Um, extremely good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into uh, English Garden. We'll see what this one smells like. Kind of excited for this to see which way we're going to go here. And with Jake's stuff, they're like made to order. So when you place your order, I think he's making the stuff. Um, or if like order is open for something, it's because he's about to make it or in the process of making it. So with his fragrances, I would give a little bit of a maceration period when you first get them. They smell incredible right out of the bottle though. They smell very good. Uh, but you know, to get the most out of it, might want to let it macerate a little bit. All right, we are going with English Garden. Leather. Wow. This is very good. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Kiniche 10. That's what it reminds me of. Yes, this is... Oh, man. Oh, man. I love leather. I love leather fragrances. And this is killing it. It reminds me a lot of Caniche 10, that style of leather, like an old school, old world type of leather kind of thing. Maybe like an English leather. That smells 
incredible. I love it. Wow, English Garden is very good. I'm guessing there's some florals going on in here, hence the name Garden in English Garden. Maybe a carnation, something like that. Maybe some carnation or yeah, something like that. I am getting a floral uh, feel out of it, but the leather is where it's at. The leather is, is there, and I love it. All right, we're going to put English Garden on skin for the dry down rundown. Right there on the left arm. That's really good. It's kind of like, it smells like Caniche 10, maybe a little bit like a higher quality English leather. So good, really digging it. Yeah, English Garden is freaking phenomenal. If you like leather scents, if you like that type of thing, old school leather type of thing you have to get your hands on English Garden it's good all right for this arm which way should we go both of these are really good I want to try one of the gourmands let's go with ah I'm gonna go with one of the gourmands ah, I can't decide which one they're both so good let's I wish I could ask you guys. Let's go with eau creme. We'll go with the coffee one. Because I know a lot of you are big coffee scent guys. So I'm doing this for you guys. I know a lot of you guys like those coffee scents. All right. Two sprays on the right arm. Oh, man even better on skin and it's just wafting up there wow hasn't had time to macerate but man it just the scent just projects that's incredible wow i'm i'm so impressed great job jake you crushed it with these wow the leather all right guys i'm gonna let these dry down um We'll let them dry down a couple hours, come back, do a rundown of the dry downs. They smell great. Uh, very well done. You get exactly what you would expect off of the note breakdown. So let's let them dry down, let you guys know how they turn out a couple hours later. All right, guys, it has been three hours. Let's go ahead and run down these dry downs and... I have to say they are smelling really great. Haven't smelled the ones that are on the testers, only the ones that are on my arms, and these things are performing, and they smell really good. The Coco Cabana, this one is just incredible. An incredible gourmand. You do get that Irish coffee feel. Imagine uh, a cup of coffee the Irish way with some whiskey in it and like cream on top. That's what you're getting in this scent. It's very realistic. It's nice and boozy. You still get the coffee. It, it smells really good. I would definitely say if you are into coffee scents, this is a safe blind buy. I'd order it when it's available, available to be ordered. It's a pretty safe blind buy. I will drop the Facebook link to his Facebook group in the description of this video in case you do want to order anything. You can go on there and place an order smells fantastic okay English uh, garden I still say this thing is smelling quite a bit like Caniche 10 an old-school gentleman's leather scent I smell the leather and it smells very good I'm also still thinking of picking up some florals particularly maybe like a carnation and or a rose this one could be a clone of Caniche 10. If not, maybe an inspired by. 
If you like leather, this is an incredible leather, especially if you like a gentleman's leather, an old school type of leather. This thing is very, very good. Highly recommend English Garden for a good uh, fall, winter leather scent. It smells great. Incredible. Very, very good scent. Okay, Confidence. This one, I kind of wish I would have sprayed on skin too. It's taken such a great turn on paper anyway. Of course, paper doesn't tell the whole story about a fragrance, but you can get kind of a little bit of uh, an introduction to the scent. The bay leaf has come up, giving you that bay leaf scent. The rum, not super dominant, but it's there. It's a really nice modern take on a aromatic fougere with an added rum note. It smells great. If you are interested in something like that, confidence is a really great way to go. Almost get a little bit of a smoky feel from it too. Really good scent. Really digging this one as well. Uh, so far, everything that Jake has sent me, I really enjoyed. Um, he makes good stuff. Everything smells really good. I don't know his process of how he makes everything or anything like that, but I can tell you what the final product smells like, and it, it, they smell good. They smell very, very good. You know what? I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a little bit of a mistake. This one's not Coco Cabana. This one is Eau Creme. That's the coffee fragrance. So don't order Coco Cabana thinking you're getting coffee creme because you're not. So this is, or O creme. This is the O creme. I'm confusing myself now. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into Coco Cabana. This one was really good on paper. It has kind of died down a little bit. I'm getting the graham cracker, not as dominant as when you first spray it, but it's there. I'm getting that banana. It doesn't smell like a fresh banana, but it smells more like um, some sort of banana cream, like banana with some vanilla type of stuff in it, almost like a boxed uh, banana pudding. And a little bit of the booze, a little bit of a boozy note in here. It smells really good. It's not shooting off the paper as much. It's really kind of turned to be a little bit more focused on, I think, the banana and the banana cream and the booze. Because the graham cracker has died down quite a bit. This smells really good too. Um, I can't decide which of the two gourmands is my fave right now, but are both really good. Um, I'm definitely going to wear both. Oh, man, these are incredibly good. Yeah, when you smell it from the atomizer, you get that graham cracker from after it dries down for a little bit, you get more of the banana. Smells really good. Very edible. It comes across very edible. Um, don't try to drink the juice out of here, by the way. That's probably not going to taste good. Although it smells like you could, don't. Yeah, all of these offerings, very, very good. Now, Jake does batches. So when he opens up his ordering for these, you gotta order them. You just you gotta do it. You gotta order it because once the ordering is closed for that batch, boom, you're not gonna get it until next year. That's how this works. So don't let these you know pass up or anything like that. If you, if you think you might like something based off this video, you think you really might like it, you could order it and if you end up not liking it, probably sell it on the group or something like that. But yeah, just don't miss out on these. If you're looking for a really nice dessert gourmand, you like banana, you like graham cracker, get Coco Cabana. If you are really digging a leather scent like Caniche 10, English Garden, Confidence. If you want a modern, boozy take on a fougere, Confidence is really good. And, oh, Krim.
if you want a very realistic Irish toffee uh, scent on your skin. Oh, creme. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching the video. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Do comment down below. Have you tried anything from Segreto? If so, what have you tried? And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Again, thank you for watching.